Today, the feast of Saint James. The first one of the 12 apostles to become a martyr for Jesus. That was James' last picture. But there was a picture before, and that is today's gospel. We can always speak of the before and after about each one of us regarding our physical growth and our spiritual growth. You all may have, we all may have photos of those days when we were young. And we can see the before and the after for what it is today. Or those who try some weight loss, you see, before and after, after the weight loss. Or building renovations, you take photos before the work and say, this is before and this is after. The same way James and John, they too had the before and the after. What matters is what is the last picture. The before only tells something about the process or the journey the person had to make to come to the last beautiful picture. Why the, we are asked to reflect on the first picture or the before about James and John? The reason is we are all in this gospel, every one of us. Perhaps you are, he can say, yes, I am still, I think I am on the way to the, my last picture or the, the after I am making some progress, but still I am a work in progress, not complete. Even if you may think, yes, I am much better than how I was before, today I am much better, but still there could be still a, some more miles to go. What was wrong with uh, James and uh, John or with each one of us? Our selfish nature. Paul speaks about earthen jars, earthenware jars that hold the treasure. We're all men and women of clay, flesh and blood. Selfishness is very much in our genes, all about me, look at me. We all want the power and position and attention. Nobody likes to be ignored. We all like to have some, some position, some chair, some kind of power, either as a husband or wife or as a priest or a nun. Or, we all like to have some kind of power and honor. Look at me, who am I? Give me some respect. So in our nature, but then we are reminded you carry a treasure within what you are going to be. One day this body, this mind will fall off and the treasure will be revealed. The message is don't worry too much about the first picture, the picture of selfishness and ego drama. Ego drama is the one you direct, the one you write the script for, and you are starring in it. You are the only person who matters. In the theodrama, the body is gone, the mind is gone, all your ambitions are gone, all your desires are gone. No more you are focused on God alone. Like James, he was beheaded by Herod Agrippa, the first, of, the first one to die for Jesus. From his craving for power and position, in the end, all that mattered for James was Jesus. You can kill me, I'm ready to die for him. That is how a spiritual life should be. 
the question for self-examination is, who are you after? Is Jesus, like in the case of James and John, is he the very focus of your life? 